Stereo Stage Media, and I'm here with Hit the Lights. Howdy. Could you guys please introduce yourselves and tell us your role in the band? My name's Omar, and I play guitar in Hit the Lights. Uh, I'm Kevin, and I also play guitar in Hit the Lights. And I'm Wes, and I also play guitar, but for the Downtown Fiction. I said don't talk. <laughs> I said don't talk. This is your one chance, Wes. Is, yeah. Trying. Always. Strike one, Wes. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Okay. Did you guys have a good Thanksgiving? And did any of you go home with your families? We um, didn't go home, but uh, we got to spend it with some close friends that have pretty much been like family for the last couple of years. So it was a very uh, Thanksgiving yeah. vibe that we had. A Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving. It's two. That's right, two. It's two. <laughs> you don't want to know what happens when we hit three, so. Okay, I'm sorry. So you guys have been on the Rock Show at the End of the World Tour for a while now. How's the tour been? Horrible. It's, it's been terrible. Oh, horrible. No, it's been great. But have not. you had any fun tour memories? <laughs> I'm going to allow us to, to, to speak up on this one. What's been your favorite tour oh, memory? Oh, man. Favorite tour memory. Oh. It doesn't even have to involve us. No, no. no well, you, you we, have, it has to be your the, favorite Hit the Lights memory. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Hit the Lights memory. Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Disneyland, Disney World. We, actually, we, we ran, ran into you guys uh, when we were leaving, and you guys were coming yeah. in, yeah. and which was like what, like in like the late afternoon. Yeah, it was like a traffic jam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was great though. Mm -hmm. Disney World was wonderful. You guys had fun, I assume. Mm -hmm. And I, for myself, we went to Disneyland and Disney World all in one week, so that was pretty rad on either side of the United States. So. Okay, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Okay, that's I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You did a good I'm job. Cut off. Cut off 160 characters. So my favorite memory is probably Thanksgiving so far. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's fresh or that I'm still full, but that was a lot of fun. I've got... That was a good day. I've got a couple babies that need birth still. <laughs> Tur ate, turkey babies. Ate a whole turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, not even dead. Like, it was alive. It was alive. Yeah. He, just one bite. Un yeah, he can unhinge small. his jaw. The beard actually it, it makes it you can't really see. The beak was the last but, thing, and uh, you were able to see the fear in the turkey's eyes as it was just <laughs> slipping down, it and like, it was being digested and swallowed at the same time. So it was just like frantic, and then nothing. Silence. Silence. Yeah. That's not weird, right? That's normal. That's normal. That's normal. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I got that. Ready to shoot out of me? You got some ink? Oh, that's true. Okay, Wes, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I'm gonna have to... <laughs> Thanks, All right, guys. Thanks. Hey, it was wonderful. Thank you, guys. Some people, some people just can't. Yeah. Wait. Hey, Omar's dad, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's Omar's dad. dad. So I saw your religious Halloween costumes. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who came up with the idea for those? I think we just saw it all together when yeah. we were like, at the costume shop and said that would be funny. We, we were having a hard time. Usually we have ideas like way ahead of time at this time. We were like grasping at straws and then uh, yeah. went to the Halloween store and couldn't find anything that like we were really looking for mm -hmm. and just saw that on the wall and everybody was like, huh, that'd be kind of awesome. Mm -hmm. and it worked out, man. It worked out. It was, uh, you were in the nun costume. I was I was one of the priests. Yeah. Uh, which it was very awkward to play with like the sash on and my rosary kept hitting the guitar. But apart from that, it was it was fun. The, uh, the fishnets were surprisingly comfortable. You, you looked very comfortable, and it, oh, you acted very natural. Too. Oh great! I'm still wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys could take credit for writing one song in the history of music, which song would you pick, and why? Baby got back. Just because I feel like I feel like um, a lot of of women would appreciate me for writing that one. All sorts of women. I'm talking. I'm talking about getting that booty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to keep a straight face. It was not gonna happen. <laughs> That's a good one. That's my answer. That's a good one. Uh, for the same reasons, I'm gonna go with who let the dogs out. Mm-hmm. If you don't think Baja men are swimming in it right now? Yeah. You know, the plight of dogs everywhere. Who did let them out? You know. One day we'll know. Did they ever answer that question? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. One day. One day we'll know. Who shot I will Nicky? not I will not rest until I find out who let those dogs go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any weird hidden talents? Or any talents at all? <laughs> no. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely no talent. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing? Mm -hmm. 
none that I can show while the camera's rolling. So maybe, yeah, no, no. I can, uh, I can do things with my mind. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll see at the end. I'll turn the camera off with my mind. Okay. So we can wait for that. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure. excited. Yeah. What was your worst experience if you have one with a crowd? Mm, I remember when we did Warp Tour a couple years ago, some kid passed out or like had like a seizure or something during like the show. Yeah. And like we were like waiting for them to get like a stretcher in like the middle of the crowd to take them. And it was just kind of awkward and we're waiting around and Nick's like, well, what song do you guys want to hear? And kids are like, BODY BAG! <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of like weird timing because like that, that kid might have been dead. But they survived, so. You released Invicta back in January of this year. Do you have any plans for new music in the coming months? Uh, we just we just put out a record. Yeah. We just put it out. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. We're always like working on music and stuff, so. We'll see what happens. Good. Any plans for 2013? Hope um, you're alive. Yeah, seriously, if we survive um, after the 21st, yeah. One day at a time. Do you think we'll make it? I hope so. We're supposed to go overseas next year, and I'm really stoked for that. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to make sure that that happens. And any new New Year resolutions yet? No, I haven't even thought about it. No. Yeah, it's going to be the New Year's. I didn't realize, well. yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I'm going to start on that. <laughs> Good. And anything else you want to tell bands? Uh, if you're watching this and uh, you know you know who we are. Thank you. Check out uh, our online stuff and come see us at the shows. And if you never heard of us, then shame on you. And you should check us out. Come to the shows. Yeah. And we'll stay.